Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Friday the 15th of March 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Tarot de la Nuit which is the tarot of the night. Hope I got it right this time. <laughs> so thank you so much for all of your birthday wishes, not just for Mr. KS, but you know, for, for everyone. So my son and his young lady had a super time. Ruby Doobie had a fantastic time with extra carrots and apples. And, um, as I record the day before, um, I'm actually looking forward to celebrating uh, later on. Okay, with Mr. KS that is, of course. Thank you. And as you can still hear, I'm still croaking. <laughs> I think it's just going to have to run its course. Not to worry. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> what is the message for my wonderful friends for Friday oh it's you thank you wow <clears throat> that wouldn't let me push it back into the deck okay <clears throat> our first card is the Queen of Pentacles Followed by Major Arcana, number 20, Judgment. And followed by Major Arcana, number 6, The Lovers. Your first card is the Queen of Pentacles and doesn't she just look fabulous? <laughs> I absolutely love her gown. She looks wonderful. So queens, they are motherly, they are compassionate, they are um, creative. Um, collectively, they are cup energy. So this is cup and pentacles or earth and water energy. This queen, she's very grounded. She is very down to earth. She understands nature and the laws of nature, the principles. So she understands that if she has a thought, it's like a seed that she can sow. She can leave it to germinate. Let it germinate before it, it bursts forth. So this queen also as a water energies i feel is also about seeking solutions um so today i'm really feeling that this queen has turned up today to remind you of the importance of grounding and especially the importance of grounding while we are trying to seek all of these solutions so that you don't get carried away with your thoughts, so that you don't do all the overthinking. Okay. <clears throat> Next you have Major Arcana, number 20, Judgment. I feel there's a change coming for some of you, and I've felt this for a while, I do believe that you are leaving your old way of, of living your life, old belief structures, things that you held dear, that you thought to be true. Um, I, I see you leaving old paths that you have walked. Uh, some of these paths, you they're well trodden, you've walked them a few times because you've really believed in this path. Um, but there's something new that has opened up for you. And this is almost 
calling you to make a positive change for your future. Um, you're fed up of these paths. They've not got you anywhere. You're still in the dark. But there's a new light opening. This light are uh, these thoughts. Um, and these thoughts, they're calling you to reflect on your life. What hasn't served you? What can you change? And I'm really drawn to this light here, my friends. It's like you're awakening to a new light, a new dawn, a new day. And it's calling you. It's almost like your Stepford Wives and you can't help it. <laughs> You've got to go. There's, there's no way that you cannot follow this. Your heart's calling you. Your mind is calling you. Your spirit is calling you. This is really, really deep, my friends. Wow, okay. <clears throat> Next we have Major Arcana. Number six, the lovers. This is true love, proper love, real, deep, connected love. This is unity. And this is total surrender I'm seeing here. I'm looking at this couple and it's like they have surrendered their hearts to each other. They are committing to each other. They are seeing the beauty in each other. This is real total fulfilment. A real blend I am hearing. Today, my friends, I really see, or I'm really, I'm really hearing that you're going to be following a call. You are going to be following this new light that is calling you, new thoughts that are calling you, moving you away from your well-trodden paths. This is a new path for you, a new direction. You're being guided to stay grounded whilst you go through this process. Uh, staying grounded, um, I'm hearing, will stop you overthinking because if you overthink, you will doubt and you will not follow this call. But following the call is taking you somewhere beautiful, out of this world, a real feeling of surrender, giving your heart, and in return, feeling fulfilled, feeling a, a love I am hearing. This is going to be a love um, like you've never felt before um and again i'm back to that your heart's glowing there's a oh i'm really feeling this wow deep connection oh wow my friends this is absolutely fabulous okay who calls me now it is the Wisdom of Avalon by Colette Baron Reed. What is the message for my? Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> well, they have given us two. I feel like that. So let me lower the camera down first, my friends. <clears throat> and we have okay risk number 40 but I like how it's pointing down a path and you've got a three way arrow here so you could go <laughs> I'm drawn to this these other two well trodden paths that you've been treading along or do you take a risk and go down this one I am feeling wow okay and oh yes a wonderful golden retriever the dog loyalty sincerity and unconditional love 
Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So number 40, risk. Well, four and zero reduces to four. So but I feel by taking this risk, following this call that you're having, um, by following it, I, I really feel you'll be building a, a more structured, stable uh, future for yourselves. Number 40, risk. This marker brings excitement to your path. You cannot know the outcome of the action that you're being called to take until you do it. In this way, you're required to be the blind in the forest for a time. Risking all you know and all you have acquired on your journey for the potential of something better. Perhaps the training you require demands faith in what you cannot experience with your five senses. But reliance on your sixth sense, so that's why the dogs come as well, my friend, your sixth sense, wow. Um, but reliance on the sixth sense, your intuition can provide you with another type of sight to aid you in your journey. Very important questions can be answered now. Is engaging in the situation worth the risk or does my inner sight tell me to wait until another opportunity comes? Am I willing to learn a lesson of defeat in surrender to the promise of unknown potential? Pray for guidance and ask for a sign. If the answer is yes, take the risk. If it's no, rest and regroup and wait on the will of the divine mystery. Another sacred journey marker may reveal the answer. So I'm feeling, my friends, 100% yes. Do it. Follow it. It's taking you somewhere where you are going to be using your sixth sense. Um, love. Um, but we don't actually see love, do we? We feel it. So I'm feeling this is the sixth sense. OK, so dog is number 19 and one and nine, ten. So you're really being guided here to end one way of being and begin a new way as ten is endings and beginnings. OK. <clears throat> The dog is the most loyal animal to human beings. When the dog appears on your path, he reminds you of this trait. Are you steadfast with your loved ones? Are you true to yourself and your dreams? Do you act with sincerity? It's very important that you do so now, for good fortune comes with the faithful dog as your companion. The dog loves sincerely, without conditions, and is happy to be part of a pack. Think about how you function in your community. Are you a loyal team player? Another issue the dog asks you to consider is loyalty of others. If someone is being insincere, move on, because he or she isn't meant to be in your pack. Ask the dog for a sign and your answer will be shown. Dog energy lives in your heart. So look there. This really is about your heart. Although we've got earth here and I'm feeling earth and water. Um, you, it's actually your heart that is being called. Um, your divine spark. Um, being ignited, I, I am hearing. Um, opening you up to the wonders. Um, take the risk. Follow that. If, it's a, if you're feeling this in your heart as I'm reading this message to you and it's resonating with 100% yes, then follow it, my friends, because the risk is taking you somewhere. Wow. <laughs> OK. <clears throat> well, we'll finish with a trusty steed, Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs. Who am I lovingly call my trusty steeds? <clears throat> Because either way, horse, dog, a, a four-legged friend, <laughs> they don't let you down. Their love is unconditional. They're so in tune with their nature and their and spirit that they don't know how to be any other way. But we, we have been taught so many different 
roads to go down but gosh look at they're all in the dark they're not leading us anywhere but following um animals and, and their nature um I'm feeling my friends it's the way to go unconditional love okay <clears throat> What is the message for my wonderful friends? Thank you. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and I'll just lower the camera again. And we have <gasps> intention. So be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want and be bold with your requests to the universe. I really want to do this. Look. Look at this. Follow in this call. Following this to make a positive change for the better for your future. Look where it is taking you. Um, huge wings. Huge wings, my friends. Real. I'm feeling lift off. <laughs> I'm feeling this is really propelling you um, towards a massive, wonderful, uh, full of unconditional love future. Don't be shy. Be bold. Take that risk. It is taking you somewhere. Be decisive. Being decisive, being sincere, I'd really taken you somewhere today, my friends. Wow, I'm going to read from the book for you because I really don't want to miss anything. This is a big message. <clears throat> when you focus on what you on what you want with laser sharp clarity, you have the power to part seas and move mountains. I'm seeing this, my friends. It's like you've parted the mountain and you're walking through it. What may now seem out of reach can come to you if you believe in it with all of your heart. Command it with clear intention. Let the universe find the best way to bring it to you. And then take courage, action as guided. You may sense that your desires are being delayed or not arriving at all because you are sending out a muddled or timid request. Perhaps you are not sending out any desires at all. You will create a default reality based on your old patterns and beliefs unless you use your intention to manifest what you want. Avoid being trapped in the same dramas, the same experiences and the same disappointments by setting strong new intentions now. This glorious winged horse urges you to remember that you are the powerful creator of your reality. Whether you are doing so consciously or unconsciously, he urges you to focus intention to command in your blessings and deliberately create a life that lights you up you are an infinite being trapped in unlimited possibilities and you can choose and create your reality now so choose a life that astounds you with all its magnificence stand in your power as a co-creator with the divine and say stay strong in your clear intention to live your highest life so when you look at this card and we're going up these paths this is you in reality unconsciously this is you consciously deliberately creating be a deliberate creator today, my friends. Deliberately create this life that you long for, that you yearn for, that you really, really, really want. And be bold with your requests because I'm hearing today you are in the perfect place to receive from the divine unconditional love which moves mountains. <sighs> Wow. <laughs> oh, wow, my friends. The power to move mountains today. Ooh. Well, thank you so much for all of your likes, your shares. 
welcome new subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits and thank you again for your warm kind encouraging comments and emails i really enjoy receiving them and so may favor be with you all as i wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed day and until tomorrow my friends Goodbye.